But I do want to move to the second pillar of Made to Thrive, which is community. You spoke about it. And there was a fantastic study in the 2007 New England Journal of Medicine that said this, and it's most profound, I've only discovered recently, Leanne, that if you have an obese friend, you have a 40% chance, increased chance of becoming obese. Your yeah. friends that don't know your obese friend have a 20% increased chance, and their friends have a 5% increased chance of becoming obese. And obesity is not a percentage of the population, but it has a network effect that is probably greater than any social media platform. And that doesn't only go with obesity, it goes with smoking, it goes with lifestyle habits, it goes with divorce, it goes with alcoholism. How important is your community, Mark, your kids, your, your, your sibling? Uh, how important is that with regards to your wellness and your health? Well, uh, Steve, it is, it, for me, it is the most important thing. You know, I, I live and work in an environment where it's amazing. When I, when I was growing up, I, I, I always told my, my kids, I was surrounded by friends. I mean, I just, my parents couldn't keep up with me. You know, I would have, my house would be a train station. They would be just this group, that group, another group, everyone partying, this one, that one, this one. I mean, I just surrounded myself with so many people. And through life, through age, through experience, through wisdom, through learning and seeing who really means things to you, um, and especially in the in the industry that I that I work in, is that a lot of people want to associate with you because of what you do, not because of who you are. And and and, and I see right through that. And and that's why you know I keep a very small circle of of who I call very close friends, who I I label my community because they are true, they are real. Um, you know, some of them when I met don't even know what I do for a living and that's what's so nice. They don't have a clue, but they mm. actually like me for who I am. And, and these people are those people that I say to, um, I, I mentioned it to you in the previous answer by saying that, you know, if it wasn't for who I surrounded myself with, i.e. Mark and I had a guy with us who was the, the Sherpa on the mountain. If I didn't surround myself with those people, um, I, I, I could have given up, thrown the tile and walked back down, or I would be worse off for, for, for myself now being pushed to a level that was unhealthy. Um, but no, they ensured that, they, that my interests were in their mm. heart. And those are the, that's the community that you need to surround yourself with, are people yeah. that actually care for you, that people that are actually, and sometimes we take those people for granted. Those are the ones that we tend to ignore. Um, more because you know the ones that the ones that look they they make it look so good to be their friends um at the end of the day that don't really care you know they, yeah. they there are those few that you need to love respect and cherish and i think at a time like this again this is another learning moment for us is that you you will see that during this time how your community may have been that big and then suddenly it shrank to this because you, you only kept in touch with the people that were really, really close to you when we were locked away from the world. Those ones that dropped you a message to say, how are you? I, you jumped yeah. into my mind. I'm thinking about you. Uh, those ones that made the effort to, to check on you, to, um, to ensure that you are well. And you just you, you stayed in communication with those people that fundamentally cared about you and you cared about them. That's how small your community really is. And those are the people that you fight fearlessly to have by your side. Mm. Uh, yeah, protect, protect those guys because there's nothing more important than surrounding yourself with the right people. And they do. Well, I mean, you're right. Steve, you're so right about the influences around you. And I, and I often talk to my kids about that because, you know, I, I'm, you know, my, my little, my eldest is, he's now 11 turning 12. So we're about to hit the teenage years. So, and my other little one is, is eight turning nine. So I know I'm about to enter soon into these teenage years and I'm going to have to start loosening up the ropes and the strings and allowing them out. And, and, and I, I always, we always very open with our kids and talk to them about, you are going to meet these people in your life that are going to dangle, whatever it may be, the drugs, the the smoking, the drinking, the, you know, the misbehaving to a point that it is beyond misbehaving. It's actually breaking laws and doing things like that. But understand what we've taught you and you will make mistakes and we're here for you. But try and realize that these people are not the ones you want to surround yourself with. And, yeah. and, and you know, those lessons you learned from a kid up until when you're an adult, I think they, they values that will always stay with you. It's important who you surround yourself with.